Hi, my name is Christopher Paul Carey, and uh, since 2018 marks the Philip is a Farmer Centennial, and I just recently got in some advanced copies of my new book on Farmer, I figured I'd show it off. Um, the book is called The Grandest Adventure, Writings on Philip is a Farmer, uh, and it uh, encompasses my writings on Farmer from the years 20, uh, sorry, from the years uh, 1996 through 2018. Um, a couple years ago, I realized that I had enough material uh, to put together and collect as a book on Farmer. Um, it kind of surprised me, crept up on me. Uh, I've written a number of articles over the years and hadn't quite realized how many. Um, so uh, I mulled this idea over and uh, eventually got in touch with uh, Leaky Boot Press, who put it out. Um, the book uh, hasn't come out yet. Uh, I, these are advanced copies that I have, but it will be debuting uh, July 2nd of this year. Um, I should have some advanced copies at some conventions that I go to uh, available. Uh, but right now you can go to my website at uh, cpcarry.com and find out where to order it. It's available at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Book Depository, a lot of different venues. Um, so the cover art here is by uh, the artist Charles Berlin, um, and it's uh, he actually did this illustration um, uh, back in 2009 when Phil passed uh, as an homage to Phil, uh, and it appeared on the FarmerCon uh, program uh, for the Phil Bizet Farmer Memorial Convention in 2009. Um, but it seemed to be a fitting cover for um, for kind of my tribute to Farmer. So. Charles was kind enough to let me use this as the, the cover art. Uh, it's got Alice in Wonderland and Tom Mix kind of communing with this uh, giant stone face of Philip as a farmer. <clears throat> um, I, I love that illustration. So the book itself uh, has uh, images inside, uh, both photographs and uh, uh, more prominently, um, there's one of me and Phil back in 1998 when we first met. Um, uh, more prominently it has a lot of uh, book cover illustrations. Uh, that was Jim Goddard's idea at Leaky Boot. Um, also some, some fanzines in which my articles appeared. Um, so it's kind of nice little visual cues as you're reading through this book on Farmer uh, to remind you of when you read these books. Um, so this uh, encompasses a lot of different uh, subjects. I've got um, some articles on Doc Savage that were written for a fanzine called the Bronze Gazette. Uh, one of my uh, one of the articles I'm most proud of is called The Green Eyes Have It or Are They Blue? Um, that actually first appeared on what was then the unofficial Philip as a Farmer webpage uh, and is now the official website pjfarmer.com. Uh, but was later uh, picked up in the Bronze Gazette and then in Myths for the Modern Age, edited by Wynne Scott Eckert, uh, a book on uh, Wold Newton. Um, so we've got articles on Doc Savage. Uh, of course, I've uh, collaborated with Phil and continued his uh, Ancient Opar and Kokarsa series, so there's a lot of articles here on uh, Ancient Opar and Kokarsa. Um, and a lot of stuff that was published uh, in Farmer File, uh, which, which is out of print and you can't get elsewhere. Um, and then a lot of, I wrote a lot of uh, introductions and afterwards to Phil's books over the years, and those are collected here as well. Uh, and uh, I topped it off with a, a postscript uh, so that to bring the book into 2018 called uh, Philip is a Farmer the Next Hundred Years, uh, which was my fun little science fictional uh, prognostication of where farmers' works may go um, over the next hundred years. Uh, and I also uh, wrote a, a new foreword to, to the book. Um, actually, that, that's Mike, Cro Mike Croteau wrote the foreword to the book. I wrote the new uh, preface to the book. Um, and I talk in that about the first time that I met Phil back in 1998 in Peoria. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, this is the year for this book. I, I figured if I did not put it out this year, I would not put it out at all. Uh, but I wanted to celebrate the Farmer Centennial, and here we are. So 
check it out at uh, cpcarry.com. You can order the book if you'd like. Um, and uh, I'll have copies at Pulp Fest this year, too, for sure. Uh, so you can feel free to stop my, by my table there. Uh, uh, actually, I'll probably be at the Meteor House table this year. So thanks for listening. Bye.